Hi, I'm Volokda Mapping, and I like mapping. If you clicked on this video, you probably like mapping too. So here are 10 maps for people that like maps. Number one, for all my fish subscribers. Here's a world map drawn by fishes. Looks a bit fishy, doesn't it? We're just warming up here. Number two, here's a map of all the forests in Europe, covering over 40% of the continent. Dark green is needleleaf trees and light green is deciduous forests, meaning the trees drop their leaves when they are no longer useful. Number three, here's a map of Mars if it was terraformed. I never said all of these maps would be of Earth. Kinda cool how it looks nothing like Earth, but still kinda does, right? Next is an alternate map of what the world might have looked like if the Axis powers won World War II and conquered the world. I love how the creator of this map went through the trouble of renaming all the cities to their German, Italian or Japanese names. Pretty scary, huh? But the next map is even scarier. This map shows the frequency of red hair in Europe. I find it interesting that Ireland, Scotland and Wales have over 10% as expected. But then we have this random ass blob in Kirov, Russia, possibly due to Vikings. And if you're one of those people who say the Vikings never went that far, then boy, I got a map for you. This map shows the extent of Scandinavian settlements during the Viking Age. They settled as far as Vinland in modern day Canada in the west, to Persia and Volga Bulgaria in the east, and from Sapmi in the north to Africa in the south. But that's nothing compared to the distribution of the common pigeon, which this next map shows. Dark red is their approximate native range, and pink is areas to which they were introduced through domestication by humans. This next map is just a regular political world map. There's nothing wrong with it at all. There's no reason whatsoever that north has to be up and south has to be down on a map, or why it should be cut in the Pacific and not the Atlantic. Australians love this map. And here's a map of the supercontinent Pangaea, which existed 240 million years ago, give or take, with modern day borders. Of course, the countries back then were ruled by dinosaurs and not humans, obviously. The last map for today is quite a unique one. It shows every time a line in the Bible is referred to somewhere else in the Bible, from Genesis to the book of Revelation. In total, there are over 63,000 cross-references. So that was 10 maps for people that like maps. You can find the link to all these maps in the description. You know who else like maps? My Patreon subscribers. Night King, Ed Atherton, Andrei Vasilenko, Anthony Appleyard, Yuli and Gasso. Be like them and support this channel and gain access to behind-the-scenes footage and previews. Thank you.